Hello everyone out there, this is Reverend Ratspeed from Brass and Mortar Uniform Depot and Tailoring Shop, and I just want to make a quick notation for everyone out there uh, about one of the projects that uh, I'm currently undertaking. As part of the learning process in tailoring, since there's no apprenticeships available, the only available resource that I have are vintage tailoring books that are out of print and all of the books that I've been reading have been generously scanned by various members of the tailoring community. Uh, most of them have been posted on to the Cutter and Tailor forums and when I used to be a member on there um, I basically downloaded all the uh, JPEGs that were made available I don't know if that was legal for them to actually copy the books, but whatever. So they went ahead and did that, and thanks to that, I was able to go ahead and start reading and studying. The problem is that most of the books originally were done in really low resolution, because unfortunately most of the people that made them, as generous as it might be, do not really understand about uh, graphic design background. So, um, as I got these books, and as you can see, for instance, this one is... Uh, uh, J.E. Liberty's Practical Tailoring from 1933. The book was scanned in, for instance, a really low resolution. This is 100%, and as you can see, there's a lot of uh, artifacts and pixelation around the letters and things like that. So uh, it makes it really hard to read, especially when it's printed out, and it makes it even harder to optically recognize the characters for any kind of searchable PDFs. So, I figured since I have so much background in graphic design, uh, the only option I really have at this point is to go ahead and start remaking the books, digitally laying them out, copying all of the letters, some, in some cases typing it all out word for word. For instance, most of uh, this book is, some, is one of the books that I originally did. And make a new version of the book, PDF it, except it's completely digital and especially with the uh, images it's very important for that uh, I, I digitally recognized the uh, lines for all of the different images and turned them into vector images and uh, from there it just evolved to the point of well since I have it for myself why should I keep it completely secret from me I'll just go ahead and share it out there so just like going to YouTube and seeing a remix of your favorite videos or an AMV or someone doing a cover Essentially, I did the same thing with the books. I went ahead and uh, put them onto the site uh, completely for free. I'm not here to make any money off of these, nor do I have any legal right to, uh, nor would I really want to, because most of this information, unless you're into historical tailoring, is very out of date. If you're looking to do modern tailoring, this is not the kind of stuff for you, but it does give a lot of good basic background. So, for instance, this book here, Practical Tailoring, was one of the ones that I completely redid. It was one of the finished ones that I, uh, f the first ones that I finished. And it's completely retyped out. All of the words have been typed out, and all of the images, at least the, the vector diagrams, are completely vectorized, which means that they're going to come out nice and sharp, just like if you were to buy an online uh, book and if it was made properly, you'll do the same thing. So that's uh, one of the reasons how come I'm taking so long to get some of these orders out for my Etsy customers is because as I learn and as I run into a new problem or a new piece of the trousers or vests or coats that I'm making that I haven't done yet, I have to have something to research. In order to research, I have to read, and in order to read it, I need reading material. And so... <laughs> Sometimes you won't hear from me for a month because I uh, would be working on an entire book. So hopefully someone out there will be able to find all of this learning reference material easy. And uh, all of this, like I said, is on my uh, website, Brass and Mortar. You can go to Learn and Library, and then this is currently where it's located at. It might change in the future. A lot of evolution going on with my uh, website. But as my personal collection of books grows, so will the library. And hopefully people will be able to build from this old foundation and perhaps advance the trade and uh, be able to save something that a lot of people have called a dying art. All of the people that have made these books are long gone. A lot of skill and craft in the trade is, uh, is lost in time, except for these books which have been in some cases under lock and key for decades until the internet came around. So thank you all of you tailors out there for uh, scanning and uh, republishing these books in JPEG format. 
And uh, thank you, all of you late tailors out there from <laughs> the Victorian area to the uh, 1950s who went ahead and, and, uh, and provided the world all this knowledge to begin with. So that's a quick notation about what I'm doing here. Uh, if you'd like to find out more information about this, go ahead and click on the website and uh, you can take a look at it. And of course, please uh, stay tuned for more future updates. I'm going to be having some really cool updates regarding uh, a three-piece suit that I'm uh, working on currently and other projects in the future, which I've taken some video. And uh, once I have some time, I'm going to compile it, edit it, and uh, publish it on this channel. So stay tuned. There's more to come. Thank you very much for watching. You guys take care.